Hello everyone and welcome to OGSpot. In this episode we're gonna talk about the drops and more specifically why you might never find anything good and valuable and you might watch some of your favorite streamers and you definitely seen some very good drops which they've obtained and you probably ask yourself why you're in this situation where you keep trying to farm and you basically did not get anything valuable for trade or anything good to use on your character so in this episode we're gonna discuss uh, exactly that and the very first thing which you have to understand about the game is that uh, this game and the majority of the aspects of it are completely RNG and what that exactly means is that uh, every time you kill a monster and you're expecting to get some loot this loot is uh, randomly generated and there's of course things which can contribute to having a better drop chance and things like that but the main thing you have to understand is that the game is RNG in its core or in its base or whatever you want to call it and this is probably one of the main reasons that uh, why so many players like it and swear by it and keep playing it after that many years basically Diablo 2 is a really old game at this point and Yet again, the fans are keep playing it, and I can probably say that the fan base is actually growing bigger recently with the release of the D2 Resurrected. So, after we've cleared that up about the RNG aspect of the game, the next thing which you have to understand is that to actually start getting some drops, you need to be playing the game. And what I mean by that is to spend a decent amount of time actually farming and trying to get something out of the game. If you see what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that uh, basically you cannot expect to get anything good if you don't really invest any time into the game, if that makes any sense at all. And straight after that, the next thing which you might want to have to consider is... Uh, your area and the places which you're trying to farm are those places and areas which you're trying to farm actually any good? Are there any high value monsters? Are there any champion packs? Any lead groups? Any unique monsters maybe? What you can expect to get dropped in this area? And things like that, they're actually really important. So. You can expect to get a high-end item, like uh, Kyrael's Might, for example, if you're running Pindo skin, that simply ain't gonna happen, because the item level of the Kyrael's Might, for example, is slightly higher than the item level of the gear and loot, which can be dropped from Pindo skin, for example. So, the next point of interest is to consider the places and the areas which you're trying to farm and what you can actually get away from them. So, this is gonna lead us to our next point which you wanna have to consider after you've cleared that already and if you're sure that the magic finding route you're on is sufficient enough but you still don't really get anything there's there might be another thing which you want to consider and that is gonna be the magic find chance Such corruption in so this place. with this current setup I'm actually running 524 percent of better chance of getting magic items as you can see in the advanced stats tab and what this uh, is actually doing is uh, whenever a drop is generated, whenever you kill an enemy, this means I got a slightly higher chance of actually receiving the item which is gonna drop with a higher quality. And what I mean by that, let's say, we're talking about this full helm for example. So at the moment it's a blue item, which is a magical item. And whenever this uh, full helm, for example, is roaring on a drop then first uh, after you kill the monster 
you get that loot table and the uh, item is randomly picked out of the loot table from the monster that you've killed. And next, uh, you're gonna apply the magic uh, chance which you have and with 500% and over this means that I multiply my chance of getting magical items by 5. So whenever this uh, blue full helm is actually rolling, it starts with rolling and it asks if it's a set item. And if it doesn't pass that check, then it asks if it's unique item. Then it, if it doesn't pass that check either, it goes down and the game basically asks if it's gonna be a rare item and if it fails on that check again then it mostly gonna be like a blue or white item so this is how the loot table basically works so you're gonna have to keep that in mind and what I'm trying to say with that is uh, that basically you can be running the proper areas for magic finding but if you don't really have enough of magic finds on your character, you're probably gonna be somewhat limited in terms of uh, the amount of items which you're gonna find. And this is gonna lead us to the next point which we're gonna talk about. And that is gonna be, is your build and your character sufficient enough to do the runs which you're trying to do? So, what I mean by that is, are you actually struggling to clear out the map? Do you have any problems with the monsters which you're trying to fight with? Or you actually go through them like a child's play, for example? And this can greatly affect the amount of items which you might get inside the game and you might not. Because if your character and your build is not sufficient enough, you're gonna be struggling to maintain the good clearing speed and this is gonna limit the amount of monsters which you're gonna kill and of course that's gonna limit the amount of items which you're gonna get out of those monsters which you just killed. So, the ways to combat that is to make sure that your character is actually sufficiently geared up and it's powerful enough for the area which you're trying to farm. The next thing which we're gonna briefly talk about is uh, after you've already made sure that uh, your build is in check and your magic find percentage is in check and you're happy with the amount you're currently running but then again you simply seem to not be able to find anything good there's the first point we talked about coming in play again and as I've already said, this game is completely RNG, so yeah, it's just the way it is. Sometimes you might be having a really good run and you might be finding like extremely good and valuable items in a matter of minutes and just a couple of runs can possibly make you very rich in the game, while other times there might be a completely dry spell on your runs and you might be doing let's say a hundred runs with a lot of magic finds stacked on your character and yet again you might not be able to find a single good item out of it and this is yet again the RNG aspect of the game which I've been talking about so keep that in mind as well and what else uh, we can discuss about this um, I think that's mostly it to be honest so first up make sure you invest uh, proper amount of time in the game playing it and actually doing some magic finding runs instead of just you know standing up at AFK or trying to trade for some item or things like that make sure you actually play the game and do some magic finding runs this is the best way to actually find some items if you're trying to do that as well and the next thing is try to definitely optimize the build you're currently running and the character you're using to do those magic finding runs. And if there is a slight option to get an upgrade on your character, let's say in terms of survivability or in terms of damage or clear speed or movement speed or anything like this uh, is extremely powerful to get along, so make sure you're doing it every time you can. 
and after you maximize the sufficiency of your build and you have a place in mind which you want to run and you already got your magic finding in check just uh, what else you have to do is only make more runs until you actually start finding decent gear and that's basically it so yeah optimize your character optimize the game spent uh, optimize the time spent in the game I'm sorry and then optimize the clear speed of the areas which you're trying to farm and don't have ridiculous expectations like uh, expecting to drop items out of bosses or enemies which they're possibly not able to drop from their loot table and I hope this uh, video has been somewhat uh, helpful for you guys and it kinda makes sense in a way and explains why you may never find those uh, goodies which you're trying to look for even though you've been playing the game for quite some time so if you're struggling with that make sure you click on the like button and the subscribe button because I'll be producing more content in the future for the Diablo games franchise and if you're interested in that yeah definitely click on the subscribe button help the channel grow maybe leave a comment if you like or dislike the content and that's gonna be it for this video guys see you later bye